Live from the Sweet and Snack Show. Jeremy Weiss here. We're here live from the Sweet and Snack Show. I am here with Dr. John and Deborah, and we are here to talk about, um, first of all, the name of the company, and then I want to talk about how this started. And Dr. John, you are a dentist. That is correct. That is correct. I've been a dentist for about 35 years. Okay. Um, the name of the company uh, just came, well, I'll tell you about the start a little bit more. Um, in 1995, uh, I, I took a sugar-free lollipop uh, out of my dental office on the way home on one Friday, put it in my mouth, and it tasted really bad. And I was giving this to my patients, and I decided there's got to be something better than this. So we happenstance ran into a sugar-free candy company. And uh, I tried some of their product, and it was great. And my wife, Deb, and I brought it to the American Dental Association meeting in 1985. We started the company, Dr. John's. One of our neighbors came up with the name, and that's how we got going. So talk about taking it to the American Dental Association. What did they say? What was that like? Well, we went to some of the booths of uh, toy and novelty products that uh, are usually given out at a dental office, and we knew Lollipops was one of them. And we sugar said, "Sugar free." I mean, they should be giving out sugar. I mean, if you want more business, that's right. It should be sugar. Yeah. In it. No. <laughs> well, actually, it was sugar free though, because yeah. uh, dentists wouldn't allow, I don't think, sugar in their office. But we said, "Do you have a good sugar free lollipop?" And most of them were like, eh, "No, not really." And we said, "We'll try these," and they tried them. They loved them. Uh, when we got back home, our first order was 2,000 pounds of lollipops. Wow. Mm -hmm. So how did you go about from the idea to creating that first product? The, the idea, um, you know, for the better taste, that product was already there. Okay, so we just started marketing it. Marketing it. But then as uh, time went by, we had some new ideas. We wanted to put xylitol into the current formula. Um, at the time, we were not the manufacturer, so we had to work with the manufacturer to get the xylitol in, which was very, very difficult. So we were the first company in the world to put a significant amount of xylitol into hard candies, okay? Went over really big in the dental industry. And then why is that? For people who don't know the background, why was that important? Okay, because xylitol, um, studies have shown that xylitol is very good for oral health and in some cases can actually reduce dental decay. Got it. And so we'll talk about what's the most popular product? Uh, I would say the lollipops, the classic fruit lollipops, um, generally loved by children and, and everybody. You know, it's kind of like the five fruit flavors, you know, that most people like. But we also have uh, hard candies. Um, a lot of the older folks are uh, suffering with dry mouth because yeah. of medications. Totally. And you got the diabetics, of course. And so we have also caramels and taffies and uh, mints that we make. And we are actually the manufacturer now since 2013. So you also have some functional things like probiotic pops too? Yes, we do. We currently have what uh, we developed over the last couple of years, which we are now calling the healthiest candies in the world. Okay. So what, what, we, what we have done is, is our current lollipop formulation includes 20% of your daily requirement of dietary fiber. And it has the natural sweeteners, xylitol and erythritol, which are good for dental health, as we kind of mentioned earlier. Um, we've also added vitamins to them, vitamin C and D. Um, everything is, there's no artificial ingredients, and then we also added probiotic. And I believe we are the first company in the world to add, uh, you know, a beneficial amount of probiotic to hard candies, okay? And so the probiotics are good for digestive and immune health. So we've got, you know, a lollipop here that gives you 20% of your daily fiber, um, is good for oral health, digestive health, immune health, protein utilization, and is only 14 calories. Not only that, but it tastes unbelievably good. So you go into your professional career to be a hygienist <laughs> and a dentist, and this has been a whole different journey. What's been some of the challenges? I'll hear what you think some of the challenges are, Deborah and Dr. Sean, what you think some of the challenges are. What's, what have been some of the challenges with this totally different path 
for you? Well, we started in the dental industry, so we could talk the talk and walk the walk with the den dentists and hygienists. But then as you get into international uh, exporting and uh, retail, for example, um, that's another animal. But, um, you know, I always say that I've gotten my MBA through the School of Hard Knocks. You know, you, you kind of learn as you go. But I've had some really good uh, mentors along the way. Um, uh, Michigan Department of Agriculture is great support and um, yeah you know anytime you have any questions with uh, you know labeling or uh, you know they vet cer certain companies because you don't know them from anybody really when you get the inquiries um, we brought our daughter on for example uh, for the e-commerce you know the Millennials know how to work work the social media there so um, um, yeah it's just learning as you go but but, but getting the right people in place that, that know more about, you know, that sector than you do. Yeah. Dr. Sean, what's been challenging for you on this well, different the, journey? Yeah, the challenges have been the R&D, okay, but it's also been really fun. But one of the biggest challenges is this is a totally different business model than a dental practice. And so just learning what you have to do to be successful uh, with a business like this has been one of the big challenges, and especially going into retail has been a challenge for us as well. So we've taken on a new partner who has a lot of expertise in the retail sector, and that's going to help us a lot. So on the flip side, talk about a proud moment. What's been a proud moment, a milestone that you hit that made this journey worthwhile? Um, well, uh, one of our products ended up on Good Morning America. That was in 2008. It was, uh, we worked with UCLA on an herbal extract that we incorporated in our base formula. And uh, that product actually prevented decay. We're working on a new one again uh, with uh, oral microbiologists. Um, I would just say uh, another very proud moment for us that we haven't even talked about is that the reason that uh, Dr. John developed the newest line of healthy sweets, Dr. John's healthy sweets that we have, is uh, for kids with cancer. Um, children with cancer uh, are not supposed to have anything with sugar in them because sugar feeds the cancer cells. Right. So we were approached by one of the largest, I think, children's nonprofit cancer organizations in Los Angeles, California. They were looking for the lowest glycemic index in a lollipop. And what, what they do is they, they go into the hospital when these kids are getting their infusions and sometimes you get nausea and a bad taste in their mouth and it's helping those children and when you see those kids and the parents come running up to you and say thank you thank you thank you so much mm -hmm. you know for That's making great. this lollipop and we do give back a portion of our uh, sales to these organizations which one is the the one that they can which product is the one that for the kids? Uh, generally, they're using the fiber-based lollipops uh, with uh, the fruit flavors, but they can really use, you know, any any of the any new of flavors, yeah, because okay. they're all natural. They wanted all natural flavors, colors, you know, they love the fiber in it, um, but, you know, generally no sugar, no right. sugar, and tastes good, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> so what about you, Dr. John? What's been a especially proud moment? Um, Deb hit the main one. Um, Proud moments for me has, has just been being able to actually develop these products, okay? Sometimes it sounds really simple to some of the, you know, the I don't think it sounds so. simple at all, actually, <laughs> but the opposite. But, yeah, yeah you can't it, just it, throw it, them in a pot no, and no, then it pops no, out. Yeah. No. What's some of the, kitchen. it's interesting, you know, what's some of those maybe reject batches that didn't work? Are there ones that you're experimenting and just yeah. taste awful or just doesn't come yeah. together? Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, both of those things, yeah. and then and then you have to be able to run it through the equipment as well. Okay, so it, it, you can come up with something that tastes really good, but if it doesn't go through you your your machinery to form the candy or the lollipop, that's another problem. So it's not just about, all about appearance or taste; it actually has to run in the equipment, and we had challenges with that as well, uh, with the formulations, and we've overcome all that to uh, yeah. you know come up with like I say the healthiest candies in the world. Yeah. So I have to end on this because. Well, one, I just say my um, my daughter, when she was three, learned the Michigan fight song. Good for her. Um, but um, wh what's it like working together with, from, with the spouse oh. component? Well, we started a dental practice together first. And besides I, you just run the show, and yeah, then everything no. runs smoothly. But. <laughs> um, 
I had really good role models. My parents were a dentist and a hygienist, worked together oh, really? for 40 years. Wow. Uh, John and I bought out an older dentist, and so we actually worked together for the first uh, 17 years of, you know, after I graduated, he graduated. But um, same mindset, same morals, same, yeah. you know, visions. Yeah. Is there a, a trick like if family members or spouses work together, how do you separate that and, and how does that become so you don't take work home? How do you yeah. work it so it doesn't kind of infuse into personal life? I think we understand uh, what roles that we have. John is the scientist. He's the person that does all the research and development. Um, you know, he, he understands that, you know, there's sales and marketing. That's not his niche, you know. So um, we just, we, we go toward what we feel comfortable with and, and then we can work together that way. What's it? Yeah, and you. <laughs> We just work great as a team, and yeah, we do bring it home. I mean, when you own a business, it, it comes home with you to some degree, but um, I think probably I'm the one that has to say, Deb, uh, it, it's the weekend now, it's the evening, um, you know, it, let, let, let's, let, let's let it go for the time being. So yeah, yeah, so some of it comes home, yeah. yeah. So where, what website can they check it out online, and where can they find it? Um, right now, well, you can find it online. You can find it um, on Amazon Prime. Okay, so the website is uh, drjohns.com, D-R-J-O-H-N-S.com, and Amazon Prime. And we're here, um, you know, embarking on retail. So we're not in a whole bunch of, you know, we're not in a lot of retail stores right now. So. Or maybe in your local dentist office. Possibly. Thousands of dental offices over 20 some years. Um, we're, we're basically the number one sugar free candy in the U.S. dental industry. Uh, the dentists uh, would love to see it in stores for their patients. Please, <laughs> uh, retailers, get it in your store. You got a whole grassroots of people looking for it. So that's what we're here for today. All right. Thanks, guys. Take out, check out drjohns.com. What I got, you can't buy. It resides between my eyes Walked through the fire Came out better on the other side See lights like a peach if you find the sand And right now I'm feeling like a hundred grand